Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. I know it's a little bit weird seeing me bathed in sunlight, but hey, I'll take it. Uh, hopefully all that rain nonsense is over. Got a new flashlight to look at today, and stay tuned because I'm also going to be uploading a video on a companion charger, which is what I also use with it. A lot of people ask me what, what chargers that I use for charging my batteries with my flashlight, so I'm going to deal with that, but in a separate video. Today we're going to take a look at the Throughnight TN15, which is, I would say, a special application flashlight. It was designed for search and rescue, hunting, anything that you need a long throw for. But what's really nice about this one is it comes in this complete package with a mount with uh, mounts so you can mount it on a firearm for hunting, uh, extension tubes, holsters, the whole thing. So, I'll say up front, the only aspect of reviewing this flashlight that I can't really fulfill is I don't have any long guns. I don't have any rifles or anything like that. I, I have uh, basically handguns. So hopefully I'll be able to get this to somebody else that can test that out for you so you can actually see how it handles recoil and all that. For now, I mounted it on the Crossman Bulldog 357. So this actually turns it into a pretty efficient varmint gun. Now we've already tested the Bulldog 357 and I intended to do some more videos on it but we just kept getting rained out. But the light does come with this mount and it comes with a remote pressure switch which works rather nicely. This thing, I've taken it out. We're going to take it out tonight and, and, sh and shoot it here on video. but with the point sight on this thing and this long range light this thing is freaking awesome I've been nothing but impressed with this light so far so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna switch modes here I'm gonna go into voiceover mode so I think it's just a little bit smoother when I'm reading off all the stats to you I can tell you that its maximum brightness is 975 lumens for 226 minutes so quite a long time to have that much light coming out of your flashlight and that is because with the extension tube on it's running on two 18 650s equivalent to four CR 123s now I mistakenly when I posted a, a picture of this on Instagram called it a tactical light and a couple people said eh, that's kind of big for a tactical light you're right uh, they never said the word tactical. I, I use that term out of term or out of turn. So this is more intended for hunting, search and rescue, long distance, that sort of thing. And it is kind of big, but you can see that it does not get in the way of the muzzle. And you, you can also put it up on top or however. It really depends on your firearm, where you've got, or your air rifle where you've got rails at. I couldn't put it up on top because it got in the way of the optics. And I did have to take the bipod off, which you haven't seen, because uh, I couldn't have both on here. But I wasn't, the, the bipod really didn't matter that much to me anyway. It was something I was experimenting with. But I will say, man, I really like this light. And let's go into the features and I'll show you all the different things, all the different reasons why I like this light. First off, the TN15 has an XML2 Cree LED and a smooth reflector, so it gives it a maximum beam distance of 515 meters at max 975 lumens. It has an aircraft grade aluminum body structure with premium type 3 hard anodized anti-abrasive finish, meaning you can't scratch it that easy. The tail cap is a forward tactical clicky design with a U-shaped groove at the tail for easy activation as well as preventing accidental activation if the light is dropped. It has an ultra clear tempered glass lens with anti-reflective coating 
which I've always been very impressed with on the through nights. They just don't get all scratched and marred up. It comes with a battery tube extender, so it can run on two 18650 batteries, or it can be used uh, with a single 18650 battery, or two CR123s. Now the specs are only given for the two 18650 configuration, but what you get there is it'll do strobe for 975 lumens for 226 minutes. Turbo is 975 lumens for 126 minutes. High is 652 lumens for 199 minutes. Medium is 266 lumens for 9.7 hours. And low is 19 lumens for 177 hours. It also has a firefly mode of 0.29 lumens, which it will do for 62 days. Now, if you want to see the specs yourself, go ahead and pause it right here. Here we have everything that comes in the box. You've got the flashlight itself with the extension tube. You've got the tail cap assembly. You've got the remote switch tail cap. You've got the mount for mounting on a rifle. It comes with all spare O-rings and spare boot uh, rubber switch boots. It's got a short adjustable lanyard and also comes with a holster. Lastly, it is waterproof to IPX8 standard, which is 1.5 meters and is impact resistant to 2 meters. Now a lot of people probably are going to ask me, since this has the extension tube, how does it compare to the TN11S, which also has an extension tube. I'm just not sure where it is right at the moment. Well, although this one does also have an extension tube, you can see that the larger reflector, you know, the deeper reflector, this thing is going to give you a lot more throw. This one is more of a tactical light. That's why it's got the button up here for you know, the tactical functionality, the instant access to strobe, so on and so forth. This is a little bit more pocket friendly. This one's going to require you to wear a holster, even when it's in the one 18650 configuration. So also because this is coming to you ready to, be, to serve as a weapon light, it's going to also come with that mount from mounting it to a rail and the remote switch so a lot of differences between the two you could do the same thing with this but you would have to pick up your own uh, remote switch and you'd have to get your own rail mount for this as well but this one's coming to you as a complete package and this thing's a lot of fun in the dark so Let's wait till it gets dark and then do the fun stuff. All right, it's dark now. Time to test this thing out. I'm actually getting my backlight by just pointing this thing at the deck. That's how bright it is. So I got a target out here with the, uh, with the bulldog. Let's see if we can hit it. All right, I've only got a couple shots left for this. This 20 ounce bottle is kind of a small target for me to hit with this thing, <laughs> with my practice. I don't know if I got it dialed in that accurate, but let's give it a shot. Using the pressure switch. Oh, took my finger off the button <laughs> right as I hit it. Let's go check it out. All right, it took me a minute to get the uh, 
light off the gun and put the tail cap back on. On the bright side. Actually, now I know this might be a little sacrilegious to some, but I shot Jessica. But it's a Coke Zero bottle, so it really doesn't count. It's not like I actually shot a Jessica Coke bottle. Looks like I just winged it there. But that's a hit. So let's take a look at uh, what this looks like off the gun. So low doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. Medium's a little better. There's high. Turbo. And as you, you can see, that is quite the tight beam. I don't know if you can really make out the, the surrounding light or not. Probably not. Hold it down, goes into strobe. So there you go, guys. That is the through night TN15. Definitely one of the more fun lights. I like the size. I like the brightness. I like the throw. I like that it gives you the option to actually mount it on a long gun. So this thing is pretty cool. If you want to check them out, check them out on throughnight.com. The links are in the description box below. If they are on Amazon, I will definitely add it to the store at preparedmy101.com. So there you go, guys. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. And I'll be back with some more videos here soon. So see you then.